and welcome to another episode of Social Live, the only live show where we recap the latest social media news you may have missed. It's your weekly social media quickie. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Courtney. And so much has happened this week on social media, so we have a lot to cover. Uh, let's just get right to it. Steph, what's going on on Snapchat? Breaking Snapchat news, the moment we've been waiting for for the past year plus, Snapchat has finally released their self-serve ad platform. They made this announcement yesterday that the feature was going to be ready to go for brands to start using, and they have officially launched this platform. Advertisers can now create and purchase their own Snapchat ads via a very easy and simple to use dashboard. Board. You can head on over to the Snapchat ads website and sign up to get started creating your ads campaign. And they make the platform easy to use and they're also going to be adding um, templates that you can use to upload your your own uh, Snapchat ads. Something else that's uh, really interesting is there's gonna be these lifestyle categories. So let's say you were looking to target sports fans, like Courtney Spritzer. Yeah, the because biggest she's sports the sport, fan biggest sports ever. fan you know. Um, if you, let's say you were watching the ESPN Discover channel, you could then target people based on the channels that they're watching on Snapchat. I think this is gonna be really great for brands who are looking to reach millennials on Snapchat, but it's all gonna come down to are these ads working? Is it driving direct sales and conversions and awareness for these brands? Yeah, I think this is a really pivotal time in, in Snapchat history. Uh, it's going to be really important to see what happens and if they can bring brands the value that Facebook has been able to bring brands. I think that what we learned from Twitter was that Twitter was not able to get brands the results that they were looking for and it was very expensive to advertise on the platform. And it's going to be really important for, for Snapchat to figure out how to make advertising easy, affordable, and uh, get results. Absolutely. We're going to be testing this out for Socialfly and other brands, and we will be reporting back on the results that we're getting through the new self-serve Snapchat platform. And Courtney has some more Snapchat news for us. Yes, I'm so excited to share this one with you. McDonald's is actually doing something really, really cool with Snapchat and, and using their functionality and capabilities to actually recruit talent. So they launched this in, in Australia, and essentially what they did was they enabled job applicants to go and apply for jobs on Snapchat. You can put the, the uniform on yourself through a filter and uh, give a video interview, basically. And I think this is awesome. It's a great way to attract millennial talent. They're going to test it out in the U.S. Uh, this summer. And I think it's going to be really cool. And I'm, I expect and predict that other brands are going to adopt this if they're trying to attract millennial talent. Absolutely. If it works for McDonald's, why wouldn't it work for other brands who are looking to attract a similar demographic? So let's see what happens. And speaking of food companies that we absolutely love, Starbucks today uh, launched a series of drinks with Lady Gaga. It's their new limited uh, edition Cups of Kindness featuring go. flavors like the violet drink. One. This one. Also the pink drink. Mm -hmm. Matcha lemonade and the ombre one. drink. Starbucks is going to be giving 25 cents from each cup sold to Lady Gaga's Born This Way Foundation. So something that we've learned, and we've talked about this a lot on Social Live, that if you're going to launch a food or beverage product, there are a few things you should definitely keep in mind. One, team up with a celebrity or influencer to be able to help launch your product because they already have a really big following. Two, make it beautiful and Instagramable. Because and people, pink. It helps to make it pink. Definitely pink. Millennial pink. And uh, be sure that there is a cause behind it to give back because we know that millennials are more likely to want to purchase something if they know that they're, they're helping other people. So we purchase the drinks. We're going to let you know if they're good or not. And even if they're not, we're still giving 25 cents yeah, the exactly. we gave a dollar. This one is very, very sweet. And I actually found out about this when I was at Starbucks this morning and they have the poll promotion on their chalkboard there. I didn't see anyone ordering it yet while I was there, but I predict that once this goes viral across Instagram, people are gonna be lining up around the block. And take a look at the Social Flight Instagram account later today. You'll see our beautiful Starbucks drinks featured on there with where you can go get them and donate to a great cause. All right, this one is actually pretty good too. 
to try. I have to try them all. We'll try them all later. We'll give you our uh, testimony on behind the scenes after the show. Next up, speaking of Starbucks, we had a big contest going on last week. We had Josh Shames on uh, our episode of Social Live from the Need to Know, and he brought along with him a $200 gift card. And the, in order to win, you had to share the episode of Social Live last week, and you also had to fill out the entry form. So we're going to announce the winner. Are you guys ready? Yeah, you guys ready? Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll. The winner of the $200 Starbucks gift card is Kelly from New York. We will be sending you a direct message on Facebook with how we can get you your prize. Congratulations, because with $200, how many drinks can you we get? We did the math, and it's 50 drinks. That's a lot of drinks for a normal coffee drinker, but for Stephanie, I think that would last, what, two weeks, a week? It, maybe. I drink a lot of Starbucks. So congrats, the Kelly. One yes. right here. Congrats, Kelly. Thank you so much for watching Social Live and always being one of our fans and sharing the episode. And this week, if you share our episode today, you will be entered to win a copy of our book. Like, love, follow. So you definitely want to share this episode, and we will send you a copy, and we'll sign it up. Right, Thanks. Steph? Oh, you, that is right. And speaking <laughs> of... Coffee, the Kafefe app. Kafefe? 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 Whatever. Tomato? Tomato. So <laughs> let me tell you what's happening right now. For those of you, for the small portion of people who don't know what happened, Donald Trump made a spelling error in, in one of his tweets a few weeks ago, and the media just went off on him, like they typically do, Might and be they were coming up with all these theories about what it could mean, and Stephanie, what, what does it mean? My theory is he was trying to say coverage, and he just spelled it incorrectly. That's my, that's that my take. that happens, you know, it's easy to make a spelling mistake when you're tweeting, and you're tweeting really fast. It happens all the time. I see it all, all the time, and of course, no one makes a big deal about it unless you're the President of the United States. But anyway, something really cool is happening as a result of what's going on in the world and how the world has changed since uh, we first founded this this country. And I thought you meant founded Twitter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so now there's going to be the Hill proposed a Coffee Act. The communications yes. over various feeds electronically for engagement. Say it with me. Cafefe. Cafefe. So that's what he meant. That, I know. Well, that's what it ended up being. So and smart. basically, <laughs> what it's going to require is that social media becomes public record. You are not going to be allowed to delete anything once you have uh, posted on social media as the President of the United States. And even uh, Spicer confirmed that social media should be taken as official communication from the president. So I think this is this is about time. I think it shouldn't just be for the president. Anyone who's serving in public office, their tweets should be, um, you know, obviously taken seriously. But they should be public record because they're official statements. So we, I agree. All right, I'm glad I'm on I'm on the right track. We both agree. You on don't this always one. agree with me. I don't always agree with you, but I agree with you on this one. So. All right. We'll see what happens. We will see has what it, happens. It hasn't been passed. Do we know? It has not been passed yet. This is what they're presenting. Great. We'll Perfect. see if it goes through. About time. All right. So. And today we have a very special guest on Social Live. We've been sharing this with you all week. Aisha Guadalupe. She is an 18-year-old that has been directly impacted by the work of one of our clients, High School Yearbook. Aisha, thank you so much for being here with us. We would love for you to share more about your story, why you're here with us today, and sharing your story with, with our viewers, and really what High School Yearbook means to you. First of all, thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. Um, so this summer, I woke up with some like really bad abdominal pain, and I went to the ER, and my appendix had burst. Um, while checking that out, they saw that my spleen looked funny, and those were the exact words that my doctor used. Um, and eventually, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a type of cancer. Um, I did chemo starting in September till mid-November. Um, I was told I was in remission soon after I finished. Um, and not too long after that, I found out about high school yearbook. My child's like specialist. She sent me an email and she was like, hey, this like non for profits coming in and they kind of just want to interview you. They're putting together a book and a, a documentary from the point of view of young adults who have had cancer. And then it'll be given to other young adults as they're diagnosed. And it was going to be a free resource. 
Um, and just something like that was so exciting for me. Um, the way that I coped with having cancer was finding other people to relate to and being able to be that for someone else was something that I thought was so gratifying. It gave a point to what I had gone through. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I could give back the way that they had given to me. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. You're definitely an inspiration. Thank you. And for those of you who don't know about High School Yearbook, they're currently running an Indiegogo campaign to raise money to finish the book and distribute it to those who need it now. And donations will go toward the production of the documentary film. Uh, we've shared a link to this campaign in the caption. We've also shared it on our personal Facebook pages. And we want to encourage all of our viewers to get involved with this, with this incredible cause uh, that will impact so many amazing people. So um, we know that you're recently graduating from high school next week, next right? Week. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And you shared with us earlier that you have life a whole life plan. Do you want to share with everyone? Okay, so I have a life plan. Don't quote me on it. I'm not sure I'm going to go through with it. Um, but I'll be off to Smith College in the fall for undergrad, and then I want to go to medical school, and then I want to become a pediatrician, and then I plan on doing a fellowship in pediatric oncology and becoming the best pediatric oncologist in the country. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Your hashtag goals. Yes. <laughs> so. We figure, since you're graduating from high school, you're probably uh, addicted to social media, just like we are. So we want to ask you a series of questions, <laughs> and we want you to just answer it with the first word that comes to your mind. Okay. Stephanie and I are going to take turns doing it. All right, I'll go first. first. Ready? Instagram or Snapchat stories? Instagram. Obviously. Filtered or unfiltered photos? Filter. Puppy face or crown on Snapchat? That's hard. Puppy. All right. Post a stat status on Twitter or Facebook? Facebook. Follow a foodie blogger or fashion blogger? Probably foodie. Your favorite emoji? The laughing one. And your favorite Instagram account to follow? Myself. <laughs> can we aside, follow you? Aside from yourself, tell everyone uh, how they can follow you if you okay, want followers. Of course. My Instagram is aisha.iliana, so that's A-I-S-H-A dot I-L-I-A-N-A. -A. Um, right. Aside from myself, I think that's hard. Um, I don't know. I follow a lot of like cancer bloggers and survivors and thrivers. Awesome. Uh, one of my favorites is probably Jess the Christo. Jess the Christo. Yes. All right. And everyone Check can follow out. High School Yearbook on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> and again, we've shared the link below to the High School Yearbook Indiegogo campaign. Again, High School Yearbook is raising money to be able to finish the production of this book. So every teen who is diagnosed with cancer can receive a copy of the book upon their diagnosis. And do you think this book would have helped you when you, when you I first? I think that if when I was first diagnosed, I had something like that, it would have made the whole transition over into the cancer world a lot easier, just knowing that someone out there had been through it as well and they had gotten through it. Um, just something like that is, just that type of connection is such a good feeling, so. Thank you I'm so excited. much for being Thank here you, and sharing your story. And good luck with graduation next week and college in the fall. And I know you're going to crush all of your dreams and the plans that you have. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in today to Social Live. We will be back next week, same time, same place, with another fun and exciting show and probably some new trending food items. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.